Today, we're not just running a simple test. We're performing an experiment that spans over a century and a half. Two bricks. One is brand new, fresh from a modern factory. The other is over 150 years old, a piece of history taken from a building that may have witnessed generations pass, technologies rise, and eras shift. And now both will face the same challenge, the crushing force of a hydraulic press. But before we get there, let's explore the fascinating history behind these humble construction blocks. Bricks have been used for thousands of years, as far back as 7,000 BC in Mesopotamia. At first, they were dried in the sun, later fired in kilns. Though the basic concept hasn't changed much, the methods and materials have evolved significantly. The older brick in this test was handcrafted sometime in the 19th century. It likely came from a kiln that used coal or wood as fuel. The clay was often mixed by hand, shaped in wooden molds, and dried slowly before firing. These bricks were built to last, and many of them have. The modern brick, on the other hand, is produced using precise industrial techniques. Machines control the temperature, composition, and moisture content. It's consistent, efficient, and designed to meet today's standards for construction. Now we bring both bricks under the hydraulic press, a machine capable of applying tens of tons of pressure in a controlled and measurable way. First, the modern brick. It looks sharp, smooth, and uniform. As pressure builds, we see fine cracks appear. Then, a sudden collapse at around 50 tons. It breaks cleanly and predictably, just as expected. Next comes the 150-year-old brick. It appears fragile, with chipped corners and weathered edges. But as pressure is applied, it holds on. The structure resists the force longer than expected. Cracks spread slowly, and finally at around 55 tons, it gives in. But not before outperforming its modern counterpart. This result raises an important question. Why did the older brick survive longer? The answer lies in its density, the mineral content of the clay, and the firing process. Historical bricks often used locally sourced materials and slower production methods, which allowed for a denser final product. The slower the process, the better the internal bond. We also tested a third brick, this one made in the 1960s. It shattered under just 40 tons of pressure. During that time, construction was often focused on speed and volume. Materials were mixed with ash or fillers to reduce costs. The result? Lower durability over time. We then analyzed all three samples under a microscope. The modern brick had consistent pores and regular texture. The 1960s brick had visible imperfections and air pockets, but the antique brick showed tightly packed particles, fewer voids, and an unusually strong microstructure. To confirm the results, we conducted secondary tests, measuring deformation, stress distribution, and fracture patterns. The older brick consistently absorbed pressure more gradually, breaking less explosively and maintaining its shape longer. All of this tells us something simple yet powerful. Quality often depends more on how something is made, not when it was made. In fact, some buildings in Europe still stand today with bricks more than 500 years old, a testament to craftsmanship and patience. This experiment isn't just about crushing bricks, it's about understanding materials, time, and durability. It shows how ancient techniques can compete and sometimes outperform modern innovations. And when you see it in slow motion, the moment of collapse is like a lesson in physics. You can see the stress line, the micro cracks forming, the gradual surrender of the structure. It's as much science as it is storytelling. In the end, here's the breakdown. Modern brick broke at around 50 to 52 tons. Brick from the 1960s, failed at 39 to 42 tons, 150-year-old brick, withstood up to 55 tons. Surprising? Absolutely, but not impossible. This tells us one more thing. Strength isn't always about newness. 
Sometimes it's about endurance, about how something was made, about what it's already been through. This was more than just a brick test. It was a small glimpse into the past and a reminder that some things, when made right, are built to last.